it's like thick. It, it goes all the way down. You know, deep. It's like you can't, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. you can't reach yeah, the Yeah, it's definitely good to have it deep like this so we can actually get the whole candle in. Whereas this mug isn't so good because it doesn't go very deep. But I guess you don't need to cool it that much. We're going to be making the most awesome looking candles. <laughs> Touch the, touch it on the side of the glass to get that drop off there. Yeah. Make it look more uniform on the bottom. I actually like it a little bit non-uniform at the bottom line. It's like a T-bone seat. I guess that does give you something to set it on. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's been a while since I made candles. Especially since I didn't make one that. Doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at my fingers. <laughs> Sometimes this guy has to set it in there and let it cool completely down. That's a good thing. Is this even on? No, but it might crack it if it gets too hot. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wax is usually good. Gorgeous. Make sure there's no drops of water in the wax. What happens if there are? It'll put your candle out. It's true. Mm. I think all you'd have to do to clean that mug is mark it for a few seconds and wipe it out the rag. Mm -hmm. Dr. Reader, yeah. as the circumference of the circle increases, gosh dang it. Sorry. Right. My apologies. As the circumference of the circle increases, Cooling uh, rate of uh, rate of cooling increases. Well, that's why you do it as single layers, but also the rate of putting the wax on increases because this total surface area increases. Mm -hmm. And so, the bigger the candle gets, the faster it gets big. Looks like I need to add more wax. stay down in the water anymore. Because <laughs> wax floats in water. It does float in water. <laughs> See, I'm making a taper candle. Yeah, you are. Whereas the metal... I think mine's just about done. About where I want it. The metal... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think I'm going to call this done. Flatten out the bottom a little bit on the... Hot plate. The metal, actually, uh, Dr. Reader, mm -hmm. once the um, density of the solution, uh, as we as we add more wax to the object, the density of it approaches the weight, the density of the wax. Mm -hmm. This is what causes it to stir. Any scissors? It's uh, beauteous. I think we have some over there. God damn it! My apologies. <laughs> Trying to keep it down on the down low. Keep it on the low down and down low. Yeah. I mean, I used to never have this problem. You know that. It's been Cody. Yeah, he's kind of been a bad influence, but I've mainly just had more problems we where with which I need to describe a situation with. Mm -hmm. I need to describe situations with some of those words. Yeah. How's that for a candle? It's okay. Light the top of the wick, and it'll burn down. That <laughs> looks ideal, Dr. Reader.
Take a look at this. What you got here? Uh, awesome. Oh, you're doing it from the other end. Candle, yeah. Okay, and then you'll have to cut the wax off to light it. Absolutely right. Didn't you make yours from the other end? No, I, I took this little metal thing off. Yeah, so did I. Oh, you're a freaking genius. Okay. Our wave machine. Uh, hold that, Arthur. Hey, walk over there, Ken, at the edge of it. It's, it's easier if you pull it to yourself. Pull it to myself? Yeah, and then you can just drop the, the board out. Oh, this works. It. Look at this. That is ideal. Here, come to the side of it. This is this is a wave machine. What do you call that machine that you're using over there, Dr. Reader? Which one? The um, Jacob's ladder? Oh yeah, Jacob's ladder. Uh, stand up and get a view from the top of it. Wait, you oh. said pulling them was easier? Yeah, it's just pull it towards you and then you just drop it out from whatever. Okay, let's get our first one up. Okay. Oh, hang on. I messed up. This is awesome. This is awesome. Are you a physics major? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to be a physics major to appreciate the beauty and splendor. Can you, can you oh, actually no, see I the balls in the computer? No, I can see them. Oh, are you a chemistry uh, major? Yes, I am. Well, you were very close. I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> Luckily. I'm just kidding. Bio is just like a bigger version of Ken. True. And physics. Oh, it's really different. Set him up again. Okay, here we go. Let's put the camera okay. right about here. <laughs> There we go. That's a good view. Alright, just drop them, okay? There you go. Each of the strings a little different length, and so the periods of each of the balls as a pendulum is a little different. So they end up getting these nice wave functions. It'll eventually sync back up again, but usually the balls lose their energy before that happens. Alright, what's next? So I got my Jacob's Ladder right here. Oh yeah. Oh, I got stuck. There it goes. It's a Jacob's Ladder. It's a traveling arc generator. Basically all it is is I put a 20,000 volts between these two wires that run up and down. And uh, down here where the wires are closer together, the, the arc can jump. And then once it once the arc jumps, I'm gonna blow out my thing. <laughs> once the uh, once the arc jumps between here, it superheats the air, creating a plasma. Oh, cool! And then the plasma, because it's hot, is less dense than air, so it wants to float upwards. And as it floats upwards, it carries the arc with it. And then once it gets up to the top, the uh, arc can no longer sustain itself, and so it splits and then starts back at the bottom. So it just keeps going. Gosh, did you make this? I did. You're a stinking genius, dude. I also made this candle, which you can't see in the camera, but let's see if I can light the candle with this thing. Maybe if you put it closer to the top? Uh, no. You don't think so? I think, actually, if I lay it, if I lay it down, then the, uh, then the arc will... take it to a new level of danger every time I'm around you. There we go. I lit the candle. <laughs> Every single time I'm around here, it's like, what? It is, this isn't enough for you? Yeah, see, Danger. see, notice how when I put it on its side, the uh, arc no longer traveled upwards anymore because up was now out of the thing. Yeah. So now I got me a candle. And see, watch what happens when I get a new source of plasma next to it and actually start it to react Woo! to it. It actually reacts to the. Excitement! Yeah, because the fire is electrically conductive, so it actually starts the arc down here. And also, if you look close, I don't know if you can see it, especially on the camera, but it actually pulls the flame into two two halves. Is the oh. I, the ions in the flame actually get pulled to the two different sides? You know what it looks like? It what? looks like that eye from Harry. Potter. 
Potter. Not Harry Potter. Um, uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Yeah. It does, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do we have those, uh, uh, these things set up? Maybe, I'm going to blow my candle out. See if I can turn these things on. It's the uh, Van de Graaff generators. If I can turn this Van de Graaff generator on. There we go. Okay. So now we got power coming from the Van de Graaff generator. Let me slow that down a little bit, actually. Okay. Now the flame will really react. Let's bring those balls closer together. There we go. Get some sparks going. Okay. Now we should put the flame in here. And nope. try blowing out the candle. No. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I can blow out the candle with this, but I have to try something a little differently. A little closer. There we go. You notice how it's no longer sparking? It's because the candle's uh, putting uh, electrons from itself into the two sides of the thing. Notice how the candle's like, the flame's been flattened out by it. Wow. And I pull it out of here. Now the candle can point up into a nice point. Come in. Oh, you can kind of see it on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. That thing is working so well. Yeah. Let's uh, try. <laughs> Wonder what the candle will do to this. Oh, plasma. Yeah. Because like, yeah, I got a source of plasma here. Okay. Doesn't look like it reacts to it. <laughs> Probably because the glass stops it. So what we got here? We got some pumpkins with some equations. Oh, they look really good on the camera. Okay. So that's our haunted science and my candle. So that's what I did on Halloween.